Hello, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Mr. Brody and I are here to play another game from the Los Angeles Dodgers, uh, September 1978. This is game number 138. After the Dodgers took the series from the Mets three games to one to begin the month of September. And here we are on September 4th, where the Dodgers will be facing the San Francisco Giants. Uh, Ed Halicki is on the hill for the Giants against Don Sutton for the Los Angeles Dodgers. So Mr. Brody is here with Purple Monkey and Blue Duck there in the other co-host seat, along with, actually that Blue Penguin, along with Blue Duck in the background there. And let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to play this game here. And uh, see if the Dodgers can get another victory. Welcome, Welcome to the to stadium, stadium for today's ball game. game. Alrighty, so Don Hutt, Sutton on the hill for the Dodgers. Comes in with a 13-9 and record on the season so far. He was 15-11 and on the actual season. 3.79 earn run average. 214 innings pitched. 196 hits allowed. Has walked 61 batters and struck out 149. And has given up 20, 29 homers? Uh, maybe 23 homers. <laughs> Actually, i got to get my glasses on. Hold on. All right, that's better. We got our glasses on now. Yeah, 23 home runs on the season allowed, and uh, he did allow 29 on the actual season. Lay down, Mr. Brody. <laughs> All righty. So the defense behind Sutton is going to be Baker and left. Monday and center at Smith and right, all average range. And all with above average arms, with Smith having the best arm in right. Say, Russell, Lopes, and Garvey in on the infield. Say and Russell with average range on their left side of the infield. And Lopes and Garvey, excellent range. Yes, thank you for the hot dogs there. Uh, Lopes and Garvey on the right side. With excellent range, although Lopes does have a slightly high error rating. Russell also has an even higher error rating, um, or I should say even lower error rating, um, worse error rating at shortstop. Uh, Reggie Smith and Wright has kind of a high error rating also. Uh, Oates, Johnny Oates is behind the plate, the ex-manager of the Orioles. Um, is average range with uh, an average arm. And Sutton on the hill is average range with a below average at holding runners on, but a very good error rating. Does not give up any errors on them. I'm very short-handed. So the lineup for the visiting San Francisco Giants is going to be Bill Madlock, the second baseman, will bat first, followed by Jim Dwyer at first. Jack Clark, the right fielder, will hit third, followed by the Daryl Evans, the third baseman. Hector Cruz, I think, I want to say. Yeah, Hector Cruz, the center fielder, will hit fifth, followed by Terry White. Terry Whitfield, the left fielder. Behind the plate is going to be Mark Hill. Roger Metzger, the shortstop. There we go. I knew most of these. And uh, Ed Holicki on the hill will bat ninth. 
So that's the lineup for the San Francisco Giants. So Madlock comes in hitting 240, just 245 on the season. Um, struggling off. Struggling also, power-wise, only four home runs, had 15 on the actual season, and just 24 runs batted in, about half his total. So he's not had nearly as good a season as he did in the actual season. So Sutton looks in for the sign from Oates. Here's the wind-up in the pitch. It's going to be off the two column. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle. So good start for the Giants. Next up, Jim Dwyer is sporting his St. Louis Cardinals uniform. Hitting just 201 on the season with four homers and 15 runs batted in. Garvey will hold the on Matlock at first. Sutton spins and throws the first, and Matlock dives back safely. And it looks like Madlock is going to try to steal. And we're going to tr throw, try to get him out. Ooh, hold on here. I imagine they would try to throw. Um, for some reason, I'm managing the um, Giants there. I'll fix that in a second. And he is out. So Oates throws him out. Actually, no, I forget. <laughs> I'm not used to Johnny Oates catching, so, I, so that is all right. That was just me being silly there. So Johnny Oates getting a rare start. Johnny Oates did not have many starts, as you can see. Only batted 75 times. So that is why, for some reason, I thought I was that was the Giants. <laughs> so all right, so Oates guns down. Bad luck trying to steal. One down now. Dwyer back in the box. Here's the lineup in the pitch. It's going to be off the six column. And that is going to be a space hit up the middle. So thankfully... Madlock was thrown out, or else he probably would have scored on that. So one out, and Dwyer on first for Jack Clark. Clark comes in hitting 255 with 20 homers, 75 runs batted in, hitting about 50 points below his actual season average of 306. That's going to be off the four column. It's going to be a fly ball to the left. He gets under it and makes the catch. Does Baker. Dwyer heads back to first. So two down now for Daryl Evans. Third baseman comes in hitting 232 with 21 home runs, breaking his season total of 20 and 58 runs batted in. Dwyer trying to get a lead there. Sutton holds him close to the bag. Off the four column, and that will be another fly ball to the left. Range check on Baker. And it's going to drop in front of him. As the wire will hold at second. So runners on first and second. As you can see, the Giants have a lot of players that are on other teams. So Hector Cruz, the center fielder, comes to the bat now. Hitting just 195 with five homers and 22 runs batted in. Runners get their leads out there off the sixth column. And that is going to be a space hit to right. Dwyer will score. Evans will move around to third. And it's 1 0 San Francisco. So to bring up Terry Whitfield. Comes in hitting 284 with six homers, 33 runs batted in. Off the three column. That's going to be a pop up to third. Say so makes the catch. So San Francisco gets on the board. San Francisco won. Los Angeles coming up. Ed Halicki on the hill for the Giants. Ed Halicki having a much better season than he did in the actual season. 13 and 7 reckon he was 9 and 10 on the actual season, an ERA of just barely over 2, 2.02 as opposed to 2.85. 169 innings pitch, 133 hits allowed, 30 walks, and 81 strikeouts, and a surrender nine homers. So Whitfield in left, Cruz in center, Clark in right. Whitfield and Clark average range at left and right. Cruz average in the center. I mean, uh, below average in center. Clark with the best arm in right. Cruz below average arm, I mean above average arm in center and Whitfield average in left. Evans, Metzger, Madlock, and Dwyer all average except for Madlock who's below average range at second. Evans, Metzger, and Madlock with slightly high error ratings. Dwyer with a fairly low error rating at first. Hill behind the plate average range as well as Halicki on the mound. 
Hiloki terrible at holding runners on and a very high error rating. So he will commit a lot of errors at on the hill. So Evans and Dwyer playing in. Davey Lopes will lead it off for the Dodgers, followed by Bill Russell, the shortstop. Reggie Smith, the right fielder, hits third, followed by Steve Garvey at first. Ron Say, the, the third baseman, hits fifth, followed by Dusty Baker in left. Rick Monday will bat seventh and play center. Behind the plate, getting a start today is John, Johnny Oates. And Don Sutton on the hill bats ninth. So Lopes comes in hitting 280 with eight homers and 58 runs batted. And only about half the amount of home runs he actually hit on the season. Four column. And that's a pop-up to short. Metzger is there and makes the catch for out number one. So Bill Russell up now. Shortstop comes in hitting 336 on the season. 50 points higher than his season average. With no homers and 62 runs batted and 16 RBIs ahead of his pace. Two column, and that will be a pop up to third. Evans calls for it and makes the catch. So two up and two down for the Dodgers brings Reggie Smith to the plate. Hitting 259 on the season with 21 homers and 68 runs batted in. Off the four column. And he'll go down swing. So the Dodgers go in order in the first, and after one, it's San Francisco one, Los Angeles nothing. So Mark Hill, the catcher, will bat first for the Giants here in the top of the second. Comes in hitting 226 with four homers and 36 runs batted in. It's off the one call. And he'll take a called third strike. So one down in the second for Roger Metzger. Shortstop hitting 229 on the season with 26 runs batted in. Off the sixth call. And that is going to be a base hit to right. He has weak power. So that would just be a single to right. So that'll bring up the pitcher, Hilicki. Hilicki just, just a 136 hitter with three RBIs on the actual season. No stats for the actual, for the replay. So let's see, he most likely will bunt. So Say and Garvey are in on the, in on the grass. And any, so Metzger's unable to get a normal lead. Lays it down. Uh, count goes one and two. He bunts at it. Fielded by Oates. And Oates throws the ball away. So Oates getting a start today. Throws it away. And Halicki will reach. Moving to second. And Metzger moves all the way to third. So runners on second and third with one out. After the error by Oates. So defense will play back. From Matlock. Who reached first and was thrown out stealing by Oates. And that's going to be a ground ball to th say at third. He will get to it. And let's see what he does with it. He's probably going to go to first. As let's see if Metzger comes in here. Yep, Metzger comes in and Holicki moves to third. So two nothing now. On the RBI ground out by Madlock. So let's take a look at the scores here. Chicago leading Montreal 2-0. New York and Pittsburgh are scoreless. St. Louis in front of Philadelphia 3-0. San Diego shutting out Atlanta 4-0. Cincinnati and Houston scoreless. And here it's 2-0 San Francisco. So Dwyer up now. Singled in his first at bat. Draws the walk. So it'll put runners at the corners for Jack Clark, who flew out in his first at bat. Grounds this one to rush out short over to Garvey. Ten the inning. The Giants tack on another run, and it's two nothing as we head to the bottom of the second. Garvey saying Baker if anybody gets on Monday for the Dodgers. Garvey comes in hitting 330 with 15 homers and 89 runs batted in. Grounds this one to Evans at third. Over to first for out number one. Center Ramp Ron Say, 298 on the season with 24 homers and 34 runs bet in. He broke his home run total for the season, or after the actual season, uh, against the Mets in the weekend series. 
Gets a pitch to it here. But grounds it to short. Metzger up with it over to first for out number two. So Dusty Baker up now. Two outs and the base is empty. Hitting 251 with five homers and 58 runs batted in. Be a range check from Metzger. He gets to it. And makes the play over to Dwyer to end the inning. So one, two, three, go the Dodgers in the second, and after two full, it's two nothing Giants. So Evans up now. He's singled in his first at bat. Flies this one to center. Monday bat pedals quickly. But is there to make the catch for out number one. So Hector Cruz up now. Had an RBI single in his first at bat. Grounds this one to Russell at short. Over to Garvey. Two up and two down. So Terry Whitfield popped up in his first at bat. Gets a pitch in the wheelhouse here. Gives this one a ride. That one is going, 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 and gone. So Whitfield gets a home run. And it's now 3 0 San Francisco. So here comes Mark Hill, strikeout victim, his first time up. And he strikes out again. But San Francisco has put up single runs in the first, second, and third to take a 3 nothing lead as we head to the home half of the third. Monday, 255 with 14 homers, 46 runs batted and up now. Gets, a, gets one in the wheelhouse here, but misses it. Swung right over that one. So one down here in the Los Angeles third. It brings up Johnny Oates. See if he can atone for his error. So far, he's hitting 353. This season, hitting even better than his 307 average. Four runs batted in. And it's going to be a range check on Madlock at second. He's below average range. Does not get to it. Actually, he does get to it. But he throws on the bounce to Dwyer, and Oates will beat it out. So Oates is on with a single, with one down. That'll bring up Sutton. Sutton will lay it down here. Just an 083 hitter. B. Bunter lays it down, looks at second, passes it up the shore, shore force play, and fires it to first to retire Sutton. Some Oates will move into scoring position. Two down now. Brings up Davey Lopes. He popped up in his first at bat. And he is strikeout to end the inning. So after three full, it's San Francisco leading three to nothing. So that'll bring up Metzger. Metzger to lead it off for the Giants here on the top of the fourth. Singled in his first at bat. Lines this one to Garvey who makes the catch. The soft liner for out number one. Chicago top of Montreal 2-0. Pittsburgh now on top of New York. Mets 2-0. St. Louis beating Philadelphia 5-1. San Diego in front of Atlanta 4-1. And Cincinnati and Houston are tied at one. So Holicki up now. Reached on an error by Oates after trying to sacrifice. Grounds this one to say at third over to Garvey for out number two. It's going to bring up Madlock. He's one for two with an RBI. And Madlock's going to get a hold of one here. Monday going back, back against the wall, and it is gone. So Madlock, who had been struggling... Power-wise, gets his fifth home run of the season. And it's now a 4-0 lead. So to bring up Dwyer, one for one with a single and a walk. Strikes out to end the inning. But again, San Francisco puts up a single run and leads it 4 to nothing after 3.5. So Bill Russell will lead it off for the Giants here in the fourth. Popped out in his first at bat. Grounds this one to Metzger. Over to first for out number one. 
So Reggie Smith up now. Strikeout victim his first time up. One of three strikeouts by Metzger so far. Gets a good one to hit here. And this one is going, going. Clark looks at it and it just goes by. So Reggie Smith hits a solo home run. His 22nd of the season. And gets the giant, uh, Dodgers on the board. 4-1 to one now. So to bring up Steve Garvey. Grounded out in his first at bat. Grounds out to Metzger this time. Snares it over to first for out number two. So Ron Say up now. Say grounded out in his first at bat. And we'll strike out on the inside pitch inside corner at the knees. But the Giants do get on the board on the solo home run by Reggie Smith, and it's four to one after four. Four full. So it'll be Clark Evans and Cruz for the for the Giants here in the fifth. And Clark strikes out swing. Fourth K for Sutton today. That brings up Daryl Evans. Evans is one for two with a single. Lines this one to Garvey. He snares the, the line drive for out number two. So Cruz up now. He's one for two with an RBI single back in the first. Lines this one to Russell. And finally, the San Francisco does not score in an inning. And halfway through, it's 4-1 to one San Francisco. So Baker will lead it off for the Dodgers here in the home half of the fifth. Grounded out in his first at-bat. It'll be a range check on Madluck. Madluck below average range. Gets to it, though. Oh, and boots it. Charges, picks it up, and throws the first and throws it away. As it gets by Dwyer, so Baker will be on on the two base error by Madlock. So a good start for the Dodgers here in the fifth. See if they can capitalize. Monday struck out in his first at bat and will strike out once again on the heater for out number one. So Johnny Oates up now, single in his first at bat. Lines this one to Dwyer. Stabs it for the out. As Baker holds at second. So Don Sutton with a chance to get his team a little closer here. Gets one to hit. But grounds it right to Madlock who scoops it up and over to Dwyer for out number three. So after five full, Los Angeles Dodgers tra trail the San Francisco Giants by three. So Whitfield who homered off Sutton back in the third will come to the plate first. His seventh home run of the season. Grounds this one to Russell, which is a range check, which is not a good thing. He does get to it and is able to make the play over to Garvey. So one out on the top of the six. Brings up Mark Hill, the catcher. He struck out twice against Sutton so far. Grounds this one to Garvey. Takes it on a hop. Flips it to Sutton. For out number two. So Metzger up now. He's one for two with a single. Grounds this one to Say at third. Over to first. And the San Francisco goes a one, two, three in the top of the six. So we'll head to the home half of the six with the Dodgers trailing by three. It'll be the top of the order, Lopes, Russell, and Smith up against Halicki, who's given up just two hits, one of them being a solo home run to Reggie Smith. And Lopes will ground this one to Metzger, fires over to Dwyer for out number one. Smith up now, he's 0 for 2. I mean, uh, Bill Russell up now, 0 for 2. Smith on deck. And this one is going to go into the gap. Whitfield and Cruz give chase. Cruz gets to it as he bounces off the fence, and Russell will be in there with a one-out double. So Reggie Smith homing in his last at-bat, his 22nd of the season up to the plate now. 
And he could go back to back for himself here. If he can get the pitch here, he could tie the game. And he will. The same roll, the same split there. And that one is gone. So Reggie Smith with a two run homer ties the game. Well, not actually, I'm sorry. Brings the Dodgers to within one run. For some reason, I thought the Dodgers. I mean, the Giants only had three runs, but they have four. So it's within one now as Reggie Smith. Hits a two-run shot, his second home run of the day, 23rd of the season. And it's now just a one-run San Francisco lead. Set me up Steve Garvey. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Make that 0 for 3 as he grounds out to Evans throughout number 2. So Chicago still leading Montreal 2-0. Pittsburgh up, the, up in the lead against the Mets 7-2. St. Louis all over Philadelphia, 12 to 3. San Diego is now ahead of Atlanta, 4 to 3. And Cincinnati and Houston are tied at 5. So say up now with two outs and the base is empty. Lines this one to Evans. And that'll do it for the Dodgers in the six. But the Dodgers get to within a run on the two run blast by Reggie Smith, his second of the day. And it's now a 4 3 game. Let's see, do we let Halicki? Well, actually, we don't, can't, we don't choose for Halicki. So it looks like the Giants are going to let Halicki hit here. He's still playing inside pitch where we have to choose for both sides. And that's going to be a ground ball to Russell. Uh-oh, right, error check on Russell. And it's going to be a rare play. Let's see what that is. Off the pitcher's foot, bounces right to Russell, and goes to first in time. Looks like Sutton's foot is okay. Some bad luck up now. He's two for three with a, with a home run. A couple runs batted in. And make that three for four as this one's going to go over Monday's head all the way to the wall. So Russell will have his third hit of the day. So one out double from Bill Madlock. Sorry, Madlock, not Russell. So it brings up Jim Dwyer. He's one for two with a single. Madlock moves away from the base. Sutton holds him on. And that'll be a base hit up the middle. And... Throw comes home by Monday. That'll hold Madlock at third. So runners at the corners with one down. So Say and Garvey are going to play in on the grass for Clark. Sutton's watching Dwyer closely at first. And that's going to be a range... No, another range check on Russell. Oh, and that's going to be a hard one to get to. Not many would have gotten to that one. And that will bring Madlock home. And San Francisco will add to the lead, making it 5-3 to three now. So Evans up now, 1-3. for three. And Clark is off of the pitch, the peg. And Clark is out with a mile, trying to steal. Dwyer holds that third. So two down now. And that's a line out to Garvey to end the inning. But the San Francisco gets back a run, and it's a two-run lead as we head to the home half of the seventh. All right, let's check out the trivia question. Brought to you by Mr. Brody, Miss Mags, and Purple Dinosaur. Once, only once in modern day history have two players had 250 or more hits in the same season name one of the two players who accomplished this in 1930 hmm. only once in one day history have two players had 250 or more hits in the same season name one of the two players who accomplished this in 1930 I'm going to say Hack Wilson maybe For some reason his name comes to comes to my uh, attention there I'm going to go with Hack Wilson. So lock in your answers. See what that is. Bill Terry and Chuck Klein. Okay, so I was wrong on that one. So Bill Terry and Chuck Klein. Bill Terry, 254 hits and Chuck Klein, 250. Wow. All right, so the Dodgers come up now, trailing by two. It'll be Baker, Monday, and Oates, and then the pitcher's position. 
So Sutton is most likely done, especially if a batter gets on. So Baker on the two call, and that's going to be a ground ball to Evans at third, up with it over to Dwyer for out number one. So Monday up now. He's struck out twice so far today. And that'll be a range check on Evans, Evans' average range. And we'll get to it. Oh, but he'll boot it. Bobbles it and can't make the throw. So Monday will reach on the error by Evans. That brings up Johnny Oates, who's one, one for two on the day. <coughs> Excuse me. That'll be a range check on Dwyer. And it's going to get past him into right field. So as Monday moves to third, so he'll put runners at the corners, and Don Sutton will be pinch hit for. All right, so Lee Lacey and Vic DeVillo are actually used on the season. I'm going to go with Lee Lacey, I think. Hmm, Victor Vila, though, 312 hitter. Hulky is a right is a left a righty, so we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go with Victor Vila. So Victor Vila is gonna come in to pinch hit for Sutton, so Sutton's day is done. So the veteran Davila in there now. 286 hitter in the replay with three homers and four runs batted in. Runners at the corners. And it'll be popped up to first. The wire is there for out number two. So Davey Lopes up now 0 for 3 on the day so far. See if the Lopes can get the Dodgers a little closer. And he pops it up. So the Dodgers cannot take advantage of the first and third of the one down. And it remains 5 to 3 as we head to the eighth. Let's see here. So Rotson and Forster were used in the actual game. Rotson is going to come in. So Lance Rotson comes in for the Dodgers, seven and one on the actual season, much better than his, much better than his already good numbers. In the actual season, in just a minuscule 1.31 ER earn run average with two saves. 55 innings pitch, 38 hits allowed, 17 walks, 21 strikeouts. So an excellent season for Rotson. Trying to keep this a two-run deficit. So Hector Cruz in there now. Cruz had an RBI single back in the first one for three. Grounds this one to Lopes. Lopes, excellent range. We'll get to it. And make the play over to Garvey for out number one. So one down in the top of the eighth. Check out the scores if you like. St. Louis crushing Philadelphia 15 to 5. Wow. Chicago still on top of Montreal 2 0. Pittsburgh increasing the lead over New York 7 to 2. San Diego still leads Atlanta now 5 to 4. And Cincinnati and Houston are still tied at 5. So Whitfield up now. He's 1 for 3 with a homer. And that's a strikeout. So two down now for Mark Hill. Hill 0 for 3 on the day against Sutton. Pops this one up to say at third. Who makes the catch. And San Francisco goes in the order in the top of the eighth. So ahead to the bottom of the eighth. Hillicky's still out there. Russell doubled in his last at bat. 1 for 3. Lines this one to Metzger for out number 1. So Halicki up to 96 pitches now. So Reggie Smith, who's hit a solo home run in the fourth and a two-run homer in the sixth, accounting for the, all the Dodgers' runs, will step in the box. Let's see if they're going to let Halicki pitch to him. And they do. And that's going to be a range check on Metzger. Metzger average range. Gets to it. And makes the play for out number two. So Smith is retired. The second out in the Dodger eighth. 
So Steve Garvey up now. He's grounded out three times against Halicki. Gets a pitch to it here. And draws the walk. So Garvey reaches for the first time today. Teron Say representing the tying run comes to the plate now. 0 for 3 on the day. Oh, and this one is kind of part to end the inning. So we'll head to the ninth with the San Francisco leading by two. Wraps him back out there on the hill. He'll face the eight, nine, and one hitters. Metzger one for three on the day. Grounds this one to say. Fires over to Garvey for out number one. So they're going to let Halicki hit for himself. So I'm guessing he's going to come out for the ninth. And he'll line this one to Russell for out number two. So it brings up Bill Madlock. Madlock having an excellent day today. Singled in the first, had an RBI ground out in the second, hit a solo home run in the fourth, and doubled in the seventh. And, and this time he'll strike out. So the Dodge, San Francisco goes one, two, three. So the Dodgers come up in the bottom of the ninth with Halicki looking to close it out to finish it up to get the complete game. Dusty Baker up to the plate first. He'll, he's one for three, oh for three on the day. Did reach on an error. Gets one to hit here, though. Ah, uh, but grounds it out to Metzger. One of the only bad things on, on his card there, and he finds it. So Rick Monday is 0 for 3 on the day. Did reach on an error his last time up. And that one is grounded out to Madlock for out number 2. So that'll be with Johnny Oates. Johnny Oates with a couple of hits today. 2 for 3 on the day. Looking to extend the game. And that one's going to be grounded out to Metzger. Oh, Metzger just barely does get to it. And we'll retire Oates to end the ball game. So the Dodgers fall to the San Francisco Giants by a score of 5-3. to three. Shit. Okay. So, all right. So, Ed Halicki gets the win. He's 14 and 7, pitches the complete game, allows just five hits, three runs, all of them earned. One walk, five strikeouts, and two home runs, both to Reggie Smith, a solo shot, and a two run homer. For the Dodgers, Don Sutton gets the loss, now 13 and 10, seven innings pitched, 10 hits allowed, five runs, only four of them earned. One walk and four strikeouts, and he also surrendered two home runs. Rotson pitches the last two innings without allowing a hit, a run, or a walk, Did strike and struck out two batters. So he continues his excellent season. So for the Giants, Bill Madlock, who is, I would call him player of the game. We're going to give Madlock player of the game, even though Lucky did pitch the complete game. We'll give co-players of the game the lucky, I guess, of Madlock. Madlock was three for five, including a uh, two runs scored and two runs batted in, and had a sixteenth double of the season, and also hit his fifth home run of the season. So Jim Dwyer was two for three with a run scored. Jack Clark one for four with an RBI. Daryl Evans one for four. Hector Cruz, one for four with an RBI. Terry Whitfield had a solo home run, one for four. Mark Hill was 0 for four. Metzger, one for four with a run scored. And Halicki was 0 for three. The Dodgers just managed five hits off of Halicki. Lopes was 0 for four. Russell was one for four with a run scored. Reggie Smith, the Dodger hitter of the day, two for three with two home runs, a solo shot, and a two-run homer. Steve Garvey was 0 for 3, as Ron Say and Dusty Baker also were 0 for 4. Johnny Oates, 2 for 4 to start behind the plate today. Don Sutton, 0 for 1 officially. Vic DeVille was a pinch hitter, 0 for 1, and Rotson did not get net bats. So the Dodgers fall to 92 and 46 on the season. 
at this point of the season they were actually just 82 and 56 so 10 points ahead of their pay uh, 10 wins ahead of their pace so far so that is it as the Dodgers fall to the Giants by a score of five to three. So let's take a look at the standings. So the Dodgers still with a comfortable lead, 15 and a half games over lead over Houston. San Francisco in last place at 63 and 75. Philadelphia with a four game lead on the Pirates, four, just four and a half on the Cubs, and an eight game lead on the Montreal Expo. So, still anybody's, well, at least three, possibly four teams vying for the first place there. And in the, still alive in the, uh, National League East. National League West is pretty much wrapped up with the Dodgers and the 15 and a half game lead over Houston. So thank you for joining me. Let's see tomorrow, the next game, game number 139. The Dodgers will be facing the Giants once again. So the Giants were actually much better in the, uh, in the actual season. At this point, they were 80 and, and 58. And now they're just 63 and 75. So they're a bit behind their pace, not having as good a season in the replay. So it'll be Jim Barr on the hill for the Giants against Doug Rao for the Los Angeles Dodgers. So thank you for joining me. It's Eric from Higher Ground Gaming, my co-hosts, Mr. Brody, Purple Monkey, Blue Penguin, and Blue Duck. So we'll see you in the next game. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.